This year, the road to the American Rodeo stops right here in Lexington. Hundreds of rodeo athlete hopefuls will converge on the Kentucky Horse Park for the American Contender Tournament East Region Finals this weekend. So joining us now this morning is barrel racer Kaylee Weaver to tell us more. Thank you so much for being here. Of course, here thank with you for us. having me. So you were telling us in the very beginning that you ride what, 10 horses a day? Yep. Tell yeah. us about that. Um, well, I have a training business with my boyfriend, so we have a couple training horses in, and my main barrel horses get about 45 minutes to work every day, so it keeps me busy. <laughs> So tell us what barrel racing is for folks at home that don't know. Um, it's a cloverleaf pattern. I, um, you just go around barrels and have fun, I guess. Fast, nice rodeo time. How long does it take to train those horses to do something like mm, that? I, it takes about a month, I'd like to say. Um, I take my time with it. I don't like to rush the process. Just keep them calm and quiet, keep, not rush anything. Now, there's a lot on the line in Lexington this weekend. To tell us about that. Oh, yes, there is. A um, million dollars on the line, actually. Oh, but oh that is a lot. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, I'm just kind of going in with the chill mindset and hoping everything works out, but we're hoping it does. <laughs> How do you prepare yourself? Um, I just do it, I guess. I don't really get nervous, so um, I just practice during the week. I don't really do barrels at home, um, just ride and rodeo on the weekends, barrel races, and... How long have you been doing this? 14 years. Wow. 14 years. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, you spent a long time with it, for sure. Absolutely. So, the event that you're having, tell us what you, in your head, when you go up there, what are you going to do? Have fun. <laughs> um, okay. I just kind of let my horse do its job. Um, I don't really expect too much because it's I'm just here to have fun and just have fun, I guess. <laughs> well, what what if you did win this event? I mean, what would that mean to you? It'd mean a lot. I'd, I'd feel really confident in being here with a bunch of pro athletes and it'd be amazing. <laughs> Are you nervous at all? A little bit. I mean, everyone is, aren't they? There's a million dollars on the line, but I just kind of just want to relax about it and just whatever happens, happens. How did you get into this uh, this rodeo lifestyle? Um, I was, when I was little, I went to school with a veterinarian's daughter and I got my first pony and I absolutely loved it and kind of just took off from there. I got my main horse now when I was about six and we did local fair stuff and I realized that I could achieve more and started IBRA shows and took off from there. So with your horse, it, do you have a favorite breed? Quarter horses. What is definitely. that? What kind of horse is that? Um, it's just plain old, just quarter horses, they're just tiny and nice bread. Nice so bread. how many horses do you own now? 20. Really? Yeah, horses. there's a lot. It's a full-time job. It is a full-time yeah, job. Yeah, it is. It really is. Well, we appreciate you being here Thank with you. us. And good luck to you. Thank you very oh, much. Million dollars on the line, fingers crossed. Girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. You, you're, you remember us when you become when you when you win this million dollars. I, right? I, I don't will. want any of your money. I'm just saying, just remember us. Oh, I, <laughs> I do. I'm kidding. Thank <laughs> you for being so here. Thank you.